So there's not only more blood flow, there's literally more oxygenation. I, I read something, I think it was literally two weeks ago, it was a paper on zeta potential and uh, red blood cell aggregation. And it's like the people have wondered for a while why we've seen such massive increases in blood flow with grounding. And it was a little bit of a mystery for a long time until they kind of looked at that zeta potential piece and it, it changes sort of this, yeah, it changes the aggregation. So you're essentially having the th a natural thinning of the blood and ultimately, when you think about red blood cells clumping, yeah. that's less surface area for oxygen, right? So if you've got, let's just hypothetically say, you know, 10 red blood cells and they are all separate and apart, there's lots of surface area in all those red blood cells. But when they're clumped together, you're limiting your surface area. So there's going to be less oxygen able to be delivered. So there's not only more blood flow, there's literally more oxygenation. And that's pretty profound when you're talking about just connecting with the earth, which most people these days will kind of say, okay, that's a little bit fringe when, but in reality, this is the most fun to friggin mental thing that we could get to, right? It's like the most opposite of fringe. It's like, this is like, no, this is, this is basics. And I think you touch upon a very important point. And that is, yes, this stuff can sound fringe. It can sound uh, like a little woo woo, but once you see these pictures of the same person and the same blood before and after grounding, period. Just go Google image that, that search. It's a very famous set of images. It can really change, it can really change your mind on uh, understanding that these things do have direct physical, physical effects on the body. Uh, so I think that the more, you know, we can get, of course, the Western scientific method to explore these issues and create these um, easily accessible nuggets of information that people can can digest and, and really assimilate, not just into their knowledge, but into their behavior. I think that's how we kind of move forward in integrating some of these um, older or Eastern or more natural approaches to health into, into modern wellness.